Utah is a is a paradise, as you know. You've been here. Mm. Uh, the mountains, the hot springs. Um, um, what was his name? Uh, Thomas Cook was a world famous traveler. There were traveler's checks named after him and tour offices all over the world, Cook's tours and Cook's traveler's checks. So he had traveled all over the world. And at one point he was asked to write down his seven favorite places in America. And when they reviewed the list, five of them were in Utah. You've got Moab, you've got Zions, you've got Bryce Canyon, uh, you've got Sundance Resort, you've got Deer Valley. It's an outdoorsman's paradise. And uh, we hadn't been here very long before we figured out that if we had a couple llamas, we could do a lot of backpack hiking, keep in shape. We could bring guests and visitors along with us and have nice picnic lunches with uh, readings from the Bhagavad Gita. And so we uh, got a couple of llamas in California and brought them up and they were spectacular. They did everything that we'd hoped they'd do for us and for others and more. And uh, after some time, it became apparent to us that there weren't many llamas in the country and there was a great demand for them. And so it occurred to us that we could probably raise llamas and sell them. And we did that for a number of years, according to the law of supply and demand, we got as much as $8,000 for one of our female llamas and the other females routinely sold for between four and $6,000 and males would draw, get about a thousand. So in the course of fundraising for the temple you see behind me, we had a couple of years where we raised $80,000 selling llamas and then a couple of other years where we raised $60,000 selling llamas. So it turned out very profitable, um, very helpful for raising the funds to build the temple, but it started out just as a desire to get out and see some of this beautiful country in Utah.